Hey, welcome to Brian Plays Classic Games. Um, today I'm going to be playing um, Starflight 2 for MS-DOS. I originally played this game back on the Macintosh way back in the day. I think it came, the game originally came out like in 1989, but I played it like in the mid late early 90s. Um, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, so this is the second one. Start a brand new game. Keyboard not responded to me. Great. There we go. <laughs> oh, those sound effects. Yeah, this is one of my uh, favorite games, just because it's like the most Star Trek-like game I think I've ever found, um, where you have a crew, captain, navigator, science officer, medical officer, you know, just going around exploring the galaxy. Uh, in this one, uh, you are uh, um, have to find, I'm trying to remember the story, in the first game, the stars were exploding. We're trying to figure out why, the reason why that's happening. And you find out the cause was the fuel they were using at the time. I forgot what it was called. Uh, but in this game, you uh, there's like a new type of fuel, uh, like shiny or something like that. And um, your one of your mission objectives in this game is to find the source of the fuel so, like, so you can get a lot of it. <laughs> and there's an alien species in the first game that were like really docile and, and more of an annoyance. Uh, called the Spezium, I think they're called. I'm, I've, I'll be 100% honest with you. I'm probably totally butchering all these names. Um, and but in this game, they somehow acquired a bunch of crazy, powerful alien technology, and they're like really deadly now. And they're just trying to destroy it's like all the time. And check your notices. Nothing here. I think it's basically telling you what I'm telling you now, like your objective. Uh, So due to the fact that this economy and it's just sector space is based on sh shinium, we had to start right half. It's supposed to be switched over to that little concurrency. SP. I'll just use it from that point on. Um, the notices. And uh, yeah, this is actually our second home world, or actually our third, because it originally was Earth, which blew up somehow. I don't remember. 20 years ago. Um, and then they moved to a planet called Arth, which got into trouble, and now we're on Arth 2. <laughs> it's like a gas, we're like a space station above a gas planet. I don't need to go to the bank. I think I have like 50,000 credits, or 25,000 credits. <laughs> Minus 50 for game purchase. Oh, by the way, I'm playing this game off uh, goodoldgames.com, D-O-G, which you could buy there, though. You could buy the, uh, both games, part one and two, as a bundle. There's also this game also had a Sega Genesis version, which I played for a bit, but I found it kind of be a little too different. The graphics are really good though. So now I'm gonna create my crew. I have literally have no crew. And obviously I'm gonna create myself. Call myself uh, Brian, the captain. Um, he's gonna be a human. I'm gonna create another one. Let's call let's call this one Sally. Oh sorry for the beep. Sally. And he's going to be a human, and she's going to be my science officer. Uh, humans make good science officers, as you can see. They have a skill set of 50, and you can always train them, too. So next, I want to build a um, different race. Let's do, let's do Velox race, the bug people, because they're good on science and, um, no, sorry, sorry, navigation and engineering. Let's call him Murray. <laughs> And uh, next one will be uh, let's call him Gary. And for the next character will be for uh, communications. Uh, these two races make both good. Um, this race actually makes good communication officers and medical officers. But I think I want to do the uh, lizard people. <laughs> You'll be. And 
let's call the tree people the Elwyn. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the tree guys in Lord of the Rings. I'm not gonna remember. Okay, let's just call him um, Mike. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to train people right now. Um, I do like having a, a good science officer. So I'm going to put a point in Sally. A couple points. Um, let's do five sessions. Bring me to 95. Okay, so for the crew, I need to make crew assignments. I want to be the captain. And Sal will be the science officer. Murray be navigator. Gary be engineering. Be uh, <laughs> communication. And Mike will be the doctor. All right, got my crew. Now I come to the trade depot. Actually, no, I need to go in there. Let's go to the ship configuration. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything now. Actually, can I buy anything now? Plus one engines, 1,000. I have no missile launchers. Blasto pods. I think it's a skate pod. Let's buy a missile launcher, class one. And let's buy a couple more cargo pods. And let's rename the ship. Obviously, I got to do the Enterprise. Build a Star Trek. And screw you. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Now let's take off into some space. Standing by to initiate launch. I think the captain tilted the tick off. There we go. Launch. Confirm launch. Yes. Oh, right arrow. <laughs> this interface is so cool. Okay, so back in the day, a lot of these games saw copy protection. Um, And the what they usually have like a code book or some kind of manual that you reference, and you gotta like they ask you a question, and you got to uh, uh, basically um, give give it a correct answer to go by. In this case, in this game, I think uh, since this is like the version version you could buy in goodoldgames.com, uh, that you could literally type in anything here, and it will work just fine. And but in this case, this game I actually don't remember if you could if it literally could type in anything and it will work and things will just get harder for you later. Like like you instantly die by something. So uh, I'm just gonna play save. I have this the star chart downloaded on a PDF of my iPad. I'm just gonna take a look. So okay. So place device a little left corner. So coordinates 190 by 90. And what is the number of yellow and white stars? Okay, so let's take a look. 190 and 90. I think you see one white star. Yes, confirm. Standing by to maneuver. Okay. Navigator. Maneuver. Yeah, see, this is the Gaussian planet planet of our system. Okay, well, let's check out this nearby uh, system here. And um, the colors kind of tell you what kind of plants they may be. I think uh, purple is like gas giants. Red, I think uh, could be rocky or whatever, but let's check them out at least. Check out this one at least. Oh, that's a big planet. Let's go to the uh, science officer and have a scan. Fluorine, chlorine, platinum, tungsten, silver. Not certain of the gravity. <laughs> uh. Very thick. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I want to land. No. Um, let's take off. Let's get out of here. 
The next system, I think, it's uh, has a race of uh, people in it um, that kind of look like big flowers, <laughs> and they're in war with like another faction or their race. I think it's like yeah, it's like right. Oh god, I'm really sensitive. <laughs> Gotta be very careful. Twenty nine seventy four. Let's go there. Oh, whoa! Something just uh, went to us. Those race shields. Because I don't know who they are. And um, communications officer, Hale. Let's be friendly. Greetings, we have come in peace and wish to communicate. Please identify yourselves. We are being scanned. Ex expand, expand, a twist. We know the rattle, chirp, hiss, hiss, shiver, hiss. Squirt, chip, stay away, rattle, squirt, squirt, shiver, twist. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be like static. <laughs> oh, it's these guys. You know what? I don't think I can understand them because I didn't train my my communications officer. Or I may go back and train him. <laughs> yeah, I can't understand him. Uh, let's just be friendly, and I'm just going to terminate. And I think they're heading off. Um, But those are the plant people I was talking about. Um, where's my shield there? Here we go. Drop shield. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to Starbase and uh, train my guy in communication. Oh man, it's way over there. That was a short trip. Just bark. All right, let's go train my guy. <laughs> let's do uh, oops, ten sessions. I keep trying to use my number pad. I forget I can't do that in this game. All right, now it's 120. Should I get my seven glazed? Yeah, okay. Let's be off again. You really gonna ask me this again? <laughs> Fine. All right, 280. 280. What's the number of orange and dark blue scar stars? Scars. Zero. Yes. quick again all right ah yes well new shady chip so I can't understand him let's get out of here let's train one more time oh maybe I'll just max them out because I really want to be able to communicate with, with people communication is a big deal all right getting lost here <laughs> 35, 73, or, or, or I'm on it. Yeah, let's go to 35, 
Oops. Come on. There you go. <laughs> All right. We'll go back to personnel. And train that guy as much as I can. Let's do 19. Sure, all of it. Okay, he's maxed out. <laughs> and I gotta do this again. One twenty and zero. There's nothing there. Nothing. Okay. Now I hope I can understand these guys. That was very quick again. Hopefully these are the same people. Race shields this time. Okay, please let me understand what they're saying. Yes, there we go. And <laughs> pop of the Tandalu is Shivi. You have arrived at a most suspicious time. Just moments ago, the various celestial bodies aligned themselves for a most appropriate configuration of a, for a ceremony of communication. <laughs> Tell me about yourselves. Oh, by the way, uh, this game has a subtitle called The uh, Trade Routes of the Cloud Nebula. There's this massive, massive, massive uh, nebula that uh, takes up like a good 75% of the map. And that's another thing, but the, the alien race I talked about earlier, they have a uh, technology that allows their shields and stuff to work inside those nebula. That's why they're kind of a really big threat, too. I mean, what the pass? Brain scan. Alrighty. Trade. Tell me about trade. I think these guys are good traders. Hama Hama merchant ships. I remember those guys from a long time ago. Oops. Let's do it again. General info. in the button again on accident. Alright, let's terminate. And before they leave, I want to give them a quick scan. I'm kind of cards but their ship. Ward ship. <laughs> Pretty sure I need to like increase my science officers to be able to get a more um, detailed scan about like, you know, the shields and whatnot. Yeah, they're leaving. Let's go too. Let's go to the star system, 2974. 
I think this is the home world of the alien race that we just saw. Yep, we found some satellites. A lot of bio. 1.3 gravity. Arctic tropical. Tropical. Yep, it's a race. <laughs> Trading style. Bargain a lot. We'll sell assorted eyeball tasties. We'll buy God Mask. Be able to hunger, hugger, hot fungus, and pot berry plant. All right. Let's go uh, check it out. Find a good landing spot. And let's land. Landing is pretty cool in this game. All right, let's get out of here. Now we're on a planet. It is clear. <laughs> oh, the sound effects. Can pick stuff up. Prescribe. Squat tree with thick branches. Truck extends about two meters and spreads out to form an extremely wide, low canopy from this canopy, making thousands of long teardrop leaves, which seem to be made of glass or crystal. That's pretty cool. What seems to be moving? Oh, shit, a second. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, the audio is not as bad in the uh, PC version. Oh crap! Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> this is guy damaged by that attack. He's at 44 percent. Uh, when we get back to the ship, I'll have my medical doctor check him out. He appears to be a uh, trading post. Yes. Can't really buy anything right now. Medicines <laughs> and narcotics. Uh, no. Let's go find something for them to buy. Check out this tree. Plan. Yeah, they said they buy that. I'll collect these for a bit until my fuel reaches around 60%, and then I'll start heading back. I think I need to shoot him. Come on. What did I do? Ah. Come on. One more time. Ah. Doesn't stay safe for very long like that. 
Oh, look like us. Uh, is healing on his own. What is that? Oh, okay. Don't mess with us, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's go trade and hit back. Get a low on fuel. It on its own. There we go. Yes. So, and <laughs> I already am flustered by your calm and clever manner and like to shock the state. Or mine, I forget to attempt a barter with the beginning of my highest offer, uh, 325. Counter. No! <laughs> what? No. Oh, whatever. I went to do, uh, I think my finger, uh, the arrow, and flicked to the other option, like, literally the exact same time. Well, I got a couple, a little bit of money out of it. Um, let's head back to the ship. The ship is northeast. Alright, that funny again. I've got one on the way out. I may go back and sell these three. I'm so good at fuel. Capture. Hey, one more. Sweet. So, okay, let's try this again. Okay, I think I remember from last time. Well, I got some, some cash, that's good. Alright, let's get out of here. the ship. Ah, we're right there. I'll capture that on the way out. Yeah, I'm almost working for colonization, even though the alien race is already there. <laughs> Take over this planet. I think you get money for you get planets that you recommend. I don't know if you're gonna get penalized for recommending a bad planet. Let's be off. First, let's check out the star map. Oh, okay, probably gonna be in hyperspace. Okay. I think the next obvious choice would be checking out this star right here, uh, 2879. I think that's the other race of, of guys. Um, the other faction of this race, I mean. 
already forgot what it was. How bad memory was that? I think it's 29, 73. 2879. 2879. I guess I'm good. 2879. Not too far off. Ooh. Some cool looking stuff in here. Let's check out the blue one first. I'm pretty sure it's the right the planet of the other faction. No, I think I'm wrong. There would be satellites above this planet. Let's check it out. No bio. Fluorine and chlorine. But there could be some cool minerals to mine. Tungsten. Let's just check it out. I think we're the land. What's that over here? Pick a good spot right in the middle of it. Yeah, a lot of minerals here. Sweet. Pick up as much as I can around my ship. Check the select all button. Guess not. Seven nine percent full already. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to check out this planet just for a bit. There's other planets to explore, so let's get out of here. Check out this planet. Ammonia, hydrogen. No, no, worth it. One more planet to check out in the system. Looks like the same thing. Gravity's nice. <laughs> but tropical to infernal. Yeah, let's get out of here. Actually, oh, I forgot to do that. Doctor. Examine, um, treat him. Okay, let's get out of the system. <sighs> How much fuel did I have left? Oh, energy, 139.4. Let's do... Let's 
check out one more system. Check out this white one right here. It's distant of 12, 3 fuel, 3291. And then I go back to bakes and save. Interesting. Three plant system. Let's check them all at this time. Start in order. Ooh, that's a big boy. I'm not certain about the gravity though, but it's pretty big, so I'm not sure if I want to land there. I should train my science officer when I get back. Small little red planet, huh? Really? Nitrogen, oxygen, water, copper, iron, silicon? But it's way too hot. If it wasn't hot, it would have been perfect because gravity is almost the same as Earth. But we can land there. Or we could probably land there, but uh, uh, no humans could live there. <laughs> but this one's a blue planet, though, so this could be different. Oh, yeah. Promising so far. Nope, I've <laughs> seen a moon in Argon. Not that much minerals either, only 19%. Nope, never mind, system's bust. Well, there's like one more nearby, one more, one more thing we could check out. Fine, let's go to hyperspace. Check out this one. That's where Maker circle back. 3887. Pretty uh, interesting arrangement of planets. This is red one. Really close to all these white ones out and about. Pretty far away from it. One percent mineral. Wow. I'm assuming these are going to be ice planets. Hmm. No bio or minerals. Let's check out one more and then get out of the system. Compounds, oxygen, ten silver, silver. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. Um. Actually, let's check out this one red. Let's check out these two right here. This red one and this yellow one. Then I'll head back to base. Thirty-four seventy-one. nearby systems. Two ice and two gas giants. Not bad. Nitrogen, oxygen, water. 
frozen now. I'll say we should possibly colonize it. Hot. <laughs> Or check out this other planet. <laughs> nope. It's a cold, cold world. This for fun. Let's check out one of these purple gas giants. So we haven't scanned one yet. Oops. <laughs> Gas. Will you let me land? Oh, it will let me land. Yeah, don't don't let me land. Oh, I can play back. That's pretty cool. Oh man, why did I do that? Okay. Let's get out of here. Take one more system and check out down here. Thirty five sixty nine. Ooh, a blue one. Check that one out. Uh-oh. Free shield. Hail. Be friendly. A lot of ships. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. These guys again. I don't remember who I talked to before last time. Which one do these are? The Shiver system located at 3569 with the Shivy system is 2974. Do not confuse the two. They cannot be trusted. I'll take a picture of this. I'll forget that pretty quickly. Oh, what'd you do that for, computer? Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Why well, say there are no threat? planet. The big one. Well, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, and I should be able to trade um, the stuff I bought. No, not about that I found. <laughs> Just spark, spark his face. Alright, let's just uh, do some training and uh, tr trading. I can't talk today. Why am I doing a video? <laughs> let's do some trading and um, head back to the to the, to the base. You know, I have to say, I remember the Mac 
interface being way better than this. And it actually ran in a, in a window too. Can I just capture it? Oh crap, Max about to die. Let's get out of here. Whew, I really hurt him. Alright, let's just uh, avoid the creatures and trade. my fuel do not sell do not sell that do you not want do you do not want to buy elements they do not want to buy single leaf great all right whatever <laughs> ship. Get out of here, guys. Go home. Straight ahead. 3573. Let's see if I can sell some of this stuff.
Let's train. Whoops. Did not mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> You're hitting the wrong button. Let's train Sally a little bit more. Let's do two. Huh, made some interest. <laughs> Oh, sweet. The Hoth uh, worked out a little bit. Earn a bonus of 45000 Ooh, expensive. Okay, um, there's the bonus. Sweet, got some money now. How are you doing, Mike? <laughs> oh, that's why you get hurt so bad, is durability is two. Oops, no. I did not want to make Mike, uh, What did I do? Why did I come here? Okay. Actually, I'm not sure how to save the game on the MS-DOS version. I may have to look it up. <laughs> Starflight 2. DOS. Save. I better not just have to do it all in one go. That'd be crazy. There we go. Um, save and resume. Okay, so I think it's, we're gonna stop our journey right now. So, so far we created a crew, explored uh, our nearby star system, and found an alien race of two different factions that seem to be warring with each other. <laughs> Got messed up by some electric balloons and sold some stuff and colonized the planet. I think that's a good start. Um, next episode, we're going to go venture a little bit further and try to solve the, the mystery of where this fuel is coming from and where the Spezium got their technology, which we haven't encountered yet. We may encounter them next species, but we're going to go up for, north a little bit further. I think the top left corner, corner has like the Duini guys, and the, um, well, I feel like they're getting impatient. It's happening. So <laughs> Duini, um, which are like, um, they're really cowardly, cowardly race, but they help you out a lot. They give you some cool tech, if I recall. So that's it for now. I want to hit the stop button, and uh, thanks for watching.